I think all the way from the beginning, when I started 98, I've been so interested in or pulling or pushing the material as far as I can. So even me learning how to blow glass, I think I made, you know, perhaps one or two pieces perfectly trying to, and then I had to take another turn, kind of. When you see me blow glass sometimes, it's, it looks like you, I don't know how to in certain points, which is, I'm always surprised when I get that uh, feedback sometimes, but I think I like to see it as I know how to play, but I choose not to play the way that I'm learned. I had a goal about, especially coming here to Corning, I knew that um, I knew that the equipment was so great, the facilities were so great, so I knew that I could actually go bigger in sizes. And I think also, for me it has been always, I think, when I see something, if that competes with my body, could be, doesn't have to be big in my case, I guess it's always going towards being heavy, but when it competes with your own body, something happens, and I think that's one point of being a sculptor, when the volume creates something. And the reason I'm actually doing the work I'm doing, it's always some kind of handle on. It's been like this for a while. And, but it's also almost like it's my canvas because where I'm going with myself and with the team is to a point where the jam session is almost over. It, it's, I'm going to a place, putting a handle on in the end. The piece weighs so much so nobody can almost carry it by themselves and the handle, I can't reheat it, I can't, it's almost like I can't go any further, the frame is, the frame is there. So if I go without putting stuff on so I can't control it, it's almost like I'm cheating, it's almost like I didn't go as far as I could. I need to reach to a point where I have no energy left. I'm actually, I don't have anything more to paint, I don't have anything more to say. I don't know if I started crashing my car, having to repaint it, and started to think about actually car paint with glass. For me, combining them, I think maybe some glass collectors are really like, oh no, why do you paint this beautiful as it is? But when I do the stuff in the hot shop, what I think about, even I know I have pink color, orange color, whatever color in there, whatever pattern, I know I have it in the piece, but having the piece being warm as it is making it. I just see a glowing sculpture, sh shining reddish, um, orange, yellow. I just, my eyes and my body experience the piece as something whole, even though I know it's stuff in it. And when that is annealed and cooled down after a couple of days, what comes out is, okay, pink, black, and clear glass. Oh no, I just lose the edges, I'm losing, I'm losing the violence or the energy that I put in there, making it with the team. Me painting it is actually getting it back to what I felt, making it. So when I bring it out of the car paint studio, it's like Christmas Eve, I'm like, okay, this is how good I am. Then I understand, I see every part of it, I see every angle of it. I'm starting here, I'm, I'm not here anymore. It's like, this is my edges. It actually gives the sculpture its edges again.